Hi there, this is Chris from Fly in DeFi and welcome to this, our weekly elephant money review. Now, we do this every seven days. We like to share the latest and the greatest news on what is, in our opinion, the best DeFi protocol out there, elephant money. Also, every week, we like to get a little bit geeky and a little bit nerdy and share with you some of the incredible information that is provided to us at Elephant Money in terms of charts and data and analytics. We're going to look at some of that in this video as well. Can I also also quickly say if you are relatively new to the whole elephant money ecosystem firstly it's great to have you here but secondly I'm not going to stop in this particular video and go through every single nuance we do have separate videos about that this is really is an overview of what's been going on at the incredible elephant money over the past seven days and I have to tell you it's been a huge seven days and I've got some incredibly exciting news to share with you as well I'll come on to what that is in just about three minutes time so do stick around for that but let's look at for the last seven days this is up to Tuesday, October the 24th, 2023. What's been going on at Elephant Money? So where shall we start? Well, let's start with some of this week's headlines. And some of the headlines include the Elephant Treasury is continuing to grow at over 1 trillion tokens per week. This has almost been the case. I think I'm correct in saying that literally every week for the past 40 weeks or so, apart from one, the Elephant Treasury has grown by over 1 trillion tokens. And at the time of making this video, Bertha, the treasury, is 182 trillion tokens. Now, the reason I wanted to quickly mention this at the beginning of this video is because the graveyard has currently got 506 trillion tokens in it. So together, if we add together what is in the elephant treasury, and if we add what is in the graveyard, that comes to 688 trillion tokens that is locked up between the two biggest holders of the elephant token itself. The reason I wanted to mention that is because that means that currently, and this is ever so bullish and exciting for the future, currently almost 69% of all the available elephant tokens is protocol owned. Us humans can't get our hands on it. And as time goes on, more and more elephant token is going to become protocol owned. It's not going to be long until Bertha itself, the elephant treasury, has eaten about 190 trillion tokens. Could we get to 200 trillion tokens in Bertha by New Year's Day? I'm seeing lots of people talking about that could be possible. That'd be a great start to 2024, wouldn't it? So uh, that's where we are kind of at with the Treasury right now. I mentioned a few moments ago charts. Every week I do like to share a particular chart with you as well. And uh, this week there has been some incredible news regarding futures. So that's what we're going to focus on uh, in this week's review, futures particularly. OK, and here we are. And I want to access the uh, the June dashboard or the, the data and the analytics are. We click on the little hamburger menu at the top if you don't know where to find this and click on dashboard. And we are presented with the following. Now, I've said this before. I know the first time I remember the first time I looked at this, it was like, whoa, this is overwhelming. So don't be overwhelmed if this is the first or one of the first few times you are looking at it. I'm going to break down a particular area for you right now. In fact, I want to click here where it says futures. This is what I want us to look at. Okay, so let's scroll down this page. All this information on this page is pertinent to futures. And as we scroll down, first thing that kind of stands out is this big number here, 2,665. This is the number of users in futures. And futures only started in January this year. So that's a very decent number of future users. Uh, but I think it's fair to say still so much scope for growth, which of course is wonderful. But I want to share with you uh, immediately two graphs here. Here they are. The first graph on the left hand side is the overview of futures itself. Now, what are we looking at here? Let me break this down for you. We're being presented with lots of data here, but in particular, I want to draw your attention to the amount of daily deposits in terms of dollars. In other words, how much in dollars is going into futures every day and the total deposits that have gone in over time for futures itself. So both of those are represented in this graph here. Firstly, the daily deposits are in green here. And if I scroll along the bottom here, you can see here it's saying a dollar amount of how much is going in every single day. This is just into futures. This isn't even can take into account NFTs or certainly isn't taking into account buying the elephant token. This is just in futures. Look at this, you know, $48,000, $58,000, 78 there. You know, 28,000, 
90,000, 111,000. So as you can see, 133,000, you know, daily going into futures. I mean, imagine you had a business and you're making this every single day. You'd be absolutely over the moon. And then look at the hockey stick curve here of the growth of deposits itself going up and up and up as Coldplay once famously said in that brilliant song of theirs. Did you see them sing that live at the Super Bowl a few years ago? That was great, wasn't it? On the right-hand side here, we've got another graph that's related to this. This is looking at the growth of wallets. And again, if I scroll, you can see the number of daily wallets is again going up and up and up, as is indeed the total. So we can clearly see we are clearly going in the right direction from a trajectory standpoint. But I did say I had some big news for you and I want to share this with you. Let me zoom in a little bit on this. Okay, so I now want to share with you this area here. This is uh, giving us an overview. We just looked at the graph, the kind of the graphical representation, but now let's look at the same data in terms of actual numbers. And I know, I've said this before, I know when we look at spreadsheets and numbers and columns and rows, I know it can be overwhelming, but it's important that you don't think like that. We need to educate ourselves in this space so we understand exactly what it is that we are looking at. This is your money that you're investing, so we need to understand what's going on underneath the hood, if you like. But this is incredible. So the first column I want to share with you here is titled TVL Growth. That stands for Total Value Locked Growth. In other words, a simple way of saying this is how much money has been deposited today in total into futures. So this is uh, listed by days. Each row is a day. So if we go back the last seven days, we've got 90,000 in a day. 159,000, 156,000, 181,000, 173,000, 145,000. I mean, these are phenomenal daily numbers going into futures. But check this out. I'm sure you've noticed this already. Look at this. This is the first time ever this has happened since futures started. We've had a seven-figure day. This is unbelievable. One million dollars deposited in futures today. Not only that, the time I'm making you this video, it's Monday the 23rd of October as I make you this video. It's 8 o'clock in the evening here in the UK. That's uh, that's 3 p.m. Eastern. So there's still a, a long time left of the day. So this number's probably going to go up as well. So I would suggest that you come back and look at this yourself. It's really important to educate yourself. I've shown you where this data is within the June Analytics that you can find at Elephant Money. But come back yourself. When you're watching this video, go and look at this and see if this number has increased. I suspect it probably has. But at the moment, over a million has been deposited into futures today. These other columns, by the way, the deposits, this is fresh funds. This is new money that's been deposited. So 964,000. Uh, then 52,000 has been compounded. That, in other words, is the rewards, the 0.5% a day that those holders have earned. So if you add the deposits plus the compounds, plus if you take away the withdrawals, the withdrawals is how much has been taken out of futures today. And look at these withdrawals. I mean, they're tiny compared to how much is going in, which is so bullish for the ecosystem. So if we add our deposits plus the compounds minus the withdrawals, we will get how much has been added to futures today. Over $1 million today. Absolutely incredible. Now, I don't want this video to be too crazy long, but there is just one more quick thing, if you don't mind, that I want to share with you because I do think you will enjoy this. It's the BUSD Treasury. Let me quickly scroll down here and... Um, I must just give a quick shout out to to Dallas. He's the guy that's created all these analytics, all these charts. I mean, imagine going to your bank and asking to see all this data. They'd laugh you out the bank, wouldn't they? But that's one of the many wonderful things about decentralized finance. We can get all this information. It's all on chain. And to Dallas has created all of this amazing work. But this is what I want to share with you. Then we'll begin to wrap up this video. This is the BUSD Treasury. Now, what is the BUSD Treasury? Some get confused about this. And I do understand because there's also the Elephant Treasury. And they are two separate things. Let me quickly explain the difference. It's important that you know this. So the Elephant Treasury is also known as Bertha. And that is where all the elephant tokens that are continually bought by Bertha are stored and stashed. And the idea is for Bertha to get bigger and bigger because she will never dump. And she does get bigger and bigger due to many of the ingenious tokenomics at Elephant.Money, such as every time there's a buy or a sell, there's a fee between 8.5 and 10%. And a proportion of that will buy Elephant token that will then stash it into Bertha. NFTs, when NFTs are bought, all of that money that's used to buy the NFTs goes to buying Elephant tokens that goes into the Elephant treasury. Futures as well, which is really what we're talking about in this video. 90% of what goes into futures, 90% of what goes into futures is used to buy the Elephant token, which is then sent to Bertha. 
So Bertha really is the, if you like, the strongest barometer of health of the ecosystem at Elephant Money. And as we said at the beginning of this video, she's getting bigger by over 1 trillion tokens per week, which is incredible. But that's the elephant treasury. So what the heck is this BUSD treasury then? What's that? Well, this is the treasury just for futures. So just bear with me while I explain this, then we'll wrap up this video, okay? When any of us deposit into futures, the BUSD that we deposit into futures goes into the BUSD treasury. That's where it goes straight away. Then 90% of it is sold for the elephant token and then sent to the elephant treasury, Bertha. So this is one of the many reasons, as I just mentioned, why Bertha continually gets bigger and bigger because Bertha is continually benefiting from the more deposits there are in future. So today, particularly with a $1 million deposit, Bertha's going to really benefit from that. And the reason that I wanted to explain this to you is because all the deposits in futures go here at first into the BUSD Treasury. And so therefore, let's look at this graph. So this is the graph of deposits into the BUSD Treasury from when it started in January. We have this uh, big until today, what was the biggest day ever? I think it was the 22nd of June. Yes, it was. $448,000 deposited in one day. I mean, even that's mind-blowing. I remember that happening. That was incredible. But today, you know, almost a $1 million day. So this is also a chart that you may like to educate yourself on because I kind of like to look at pretty charts, don't you? It's just easier for us to kind of comprehend and compute kind of getting, if you like, um, a 37,000 foot overview of what is going on in the ecosystem. Okay, so let's let's sum up. So if we have to sum up, Bertha is getting bigger. That's great. More and more elephant token is being removed from the market. That's also great. Almost 69% of all the elephant token that exists is protocol owned, owned collectively by the graveyard and Bertha. And Bertha will not dump. That's also great. But, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm smoking hopium here. We have to be, you know, look at the yin and the yang in everything. We still have got a little bit of a way to go. We're still in recovery mode. We're still down from the all-time high. We did have that big sell a few weeks ago. But as time goes on, as we are seeing, more and more of, if you like, an equal distribution of tokens is happening between holders, which will help with more of constant or more of a constant price appreciation as time goes by. So, <laughs> I know there's a lot to take on board. Uh, that's why in these weekly elephant reviews, we like to kind of get a little bit nuanced and we like to put some of these charts and some of these graphs under the microscope so you really can educate yourself and hopefully have a little bit more of an understanding as to why this protocol, as I said at the start of this video, is the best protocol bar none in the decentralized exciting financial world and we've only just started we're still on the starting blocks we're still in the infancy so i hope you've enjoyed this video that's all i really wanted to share with you i wanted to do this deeper dive into futures hopefully it makes a little bit more sense for you and uh, i hope you've enjoyed this video by the way if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel we're a relatively new channel as you may or may not know here in youtube uh, we're trying, we're battling to get to our first 1,000 subscribers. We're kind of, at the time of making this video, we're kind of dancing around that right now. Maybe we've just popped over 1,000. I hope so. But if you haven't yet subscribed, uh, please do. You know how it works. Just click on the, the subscribe button below this video. It would really help us out. And it also allows us to notify you when we go live with future videos. And we make videos every single day. I'd also love to know your thoughts on this video. So if you get a couple of seconds, please post a comment below. It'd be really appreciated. Uh, that's all. Thanks for your time. My name's Chris Farrell. Talk to you soon. Bye.